Welcome to our accounts payable series for end user transaction processing. In this video, we will see how to post vendor invoice without purchase order. To post vendor invoice without purchase order, we use transaction code FB60. So once you enter the transaction code FB60, the screen will appear here. By default, now since I have posted vendor invoice with 2000 company code earlier so ESAP system selected this 2000 company code by default here you can switch between company code by clicking on the company code button here further if you see here transaction are invoice is selected the moment we will use transaction code FB60 system will consider here as invoice and once you enter transaction code FB65 the credit memo will be selected here so with transaction code FB60 invoice is selected so let's proceed further to enter vendor invoice we have to input supplier code here so basically in this transaction we are going to post accounting entry as expense account debit to vendor account credit here so the supplier will be credited and the expense account will be debited here in this transaction we are posting invoice without reference to purchase order for example there are like small items uh, which we purchase for example stationery so for stationaries, normally the companies do not raise the purchase order for vendors. These are the small items actually. So the stationery, then rent expenses, this kind of expenses we can post with transaction code FB60. So yeah, let us enter vendor code here. In Espo HANA, we call it as a business partner also for the supplier or the vendor code. Then input invoice date. So the invoice date should always be considered from the invoice that we will be receiving from the vendor. Then enter reference here. So reference nothing but the invoice number. Then input amount. So this amount is for vendor amount or for the vendor line item. Now let us enter the data for GL account line item. So this is expense GL line item. Then enter amount for expense GL line item. Scroll to the right side. You can see since this GL account is created as a cost element, you have to enter the cost center here so you can enter cost center here by scrolling to the right side here under the cost center field you can input cost center here further now for further identification you can input the text here so this is vendor line item text so we can input as vendor invoice also you can give a text here to the expense line item here. so here we can input text as a vendor invoice now let us see this accounting entry by clicking on the simulate button just click on simulate you will see this accounting entry here now in this entry if you see this audit expenses is debited and the vendor account is credited here now click on post button to see the to save the accounting entry now if you see here this document is posted to company code 2000 now you can view this entry by clicking on document and click on display button here now you see here the accounting entry for this vendor invoice is posted here and all the relevant details are fetched here by for example this cost center we inputted here and from the cost center profit center and segment is fetched here by the system automatically here okay 